my another words of wisdom shout out youtube university youtube and I, this is why i call youtube a university for one i got multiple degrees so i know what it's like to actually have a real degree okay um second reason why i call youtube university i used to be a teacher so i'm, I'm coming from different different aspects that's YouTube's name. It's YouTube University. One reason I want... Why are you trying to figure out some? For one, don't never like reinvent the wheel. Don't reinvent nothing because it's most of the time anything that you could ever imagine, it's already on YouTube. I'm going to say that again. Anything that you... Most people are already doing it on YouTube. You're saying, oh my God, what is it like to be... Um, what is it like to, to work as XYZ? Child, you ain't got to wonder. Type it in on YouTube. I guarantee you. Here's a day in the life of being an XYZ. You know, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna just be UX, UX designer. Um, here's a day in the life of UX. If you're curious about something, do your research. Like, do your research about something and you will find it, like, on YouTube. And not only that, this is another tip. When you go on YouTube to search something, don't just listen to one person's opinion. Listen to people worldwide a lot of times. I don't just listen to why I say, okay, so you're saying this and you're wearing it. Okay, I want to see what this person's perspective is. is and I want to listen to having multiple perspectives. Thank you. Shout out UNCG that really taught us to learn how to do real research. You know what I'm saying? And not to say that YouTube alone is real research, but I'm just saying um, to get multiple perspectives is. Now that part is. And so I will say um, YouTube is the quickest. It's one of the most effective ways. Video form is always one of the most effective ways to learn um and it's quick it's easy listen to more than one person perspective youtube university child you ain't got to figure it out somebody else already have like you ain't got to read and here's my thing take all that knowledge and then wisdom says ask god to ask you how to ask god to how to apply that to your life you know what i'm saying um if you don't believe in god and i i don't know i guess you would depend you know just ask yourself or whoever you believe in <laughs> i'm not trying to be funny i'm just saying it's for me that's how I roll. But um, how to apply that? You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, get insight. And a lot of people, they have this idea, one day I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Find out all you can about that now. So you so you will know, is that even a real option? Is that an option? Because you may not know everything it's going to take to get started with that. Go ahead and find out everything you can now, whatever it is you're, you're considering, whatever you're trying to start, whatever business it is. If you can find somebody that's already doing that, if you can go and spend a day in the life, spend a day with them. If you want to start a company that start, what is it like? What are the ins and outs? What's the most challenges? Do your research. Being well prepared for one. I know that, you know, you don't do it so prepared. At some point, you don't have to take action. But sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, wisdom says learn all you can as much as you can about that topic um, or about that subject or whatever, you know, project that you want to learn from, um, like, right now. Start learning right now. Don't wait to learn. Start learning. I know I, I'm, like, shout out Brandon Rashad. I know Brandon Rashad, that he is, like, the GOAT. He is the GOAT in personal development, man. Like, I love Brandon Rashad. And I just want to say, because, for one, like, he impacted my life over a decade ago. And I actually even commented on one of his videos saying that, thank you. Because you have definitely been one of the goats of personal development. Um, and a lot of people don't want to invest in personal development, you know. Um, but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother topic. Investing in yourself and because I understand personal development, like we said, that's what gonna, that's what's gonna sustain you <laughs> through the good, the bad, and the ugly, other than God. You know, it's it's personal development. It's you putting that work in, it's you putting that investment in yourself. So you don't wait till the day of for the good, the bad, the ugly to come. You you go ahead and you're already invested. You're already solid. You're already, you know, um, investing in yourself. But um, 